everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this session, which is uh, Wikisihat and the BHO. So basically, uh, Wikisihat is one of uh, projects done by Wikimedia Community User Group Malaysia and also one of the projects, the Wiki projects for medicine, which is Wiki Project Perubatan in the Malay Wikipedia. So this is what uh, we have done so far for this project. Okay, uh, so basically we can see how uh, it was a competition to write articles on health in the Malay language Wikipedia in conjunction with World Health Day. And it was a collaboration, an online collaboration with the WHO representative office for Malaysia, Brunei Darussalam and Singapore with Wikimedia Community User Group Malaysia. So basically, um, this event, this project was actually quite inspired by the Indonesian version, which is Wikisehat, but for the Malay version is Wikisehat. So there's uh, just minor spelling differences. So yeah, the objective is to make sure uh, to augment the corpus of health-related discourse in the Malay language Wikipedia, which is because that um, Actually, most Malaysians uh, read English, use English quite often, but then in the same time, in the indigenous language, in the Malay language, there's not that many articles related to health uh, related articles. So because of that, people from rural area, indigenous community are underrepresented and doesn't have access to free knowledge about health. So this is um, the one reason why we collaborate with the BHO for Malaysia is that we saw that uh, Wikimedia Foundation has collaborated with the, the BHO, the global one. So that's why, what, uh, because the BHO and the BMF already collaborated, then why not the Wikimedia Malaysia also collaborate with uh, Wik, uh, the BHO Malaysia? So this is um, the graph for the popular for the health article. So yeah, um, for between the batch all, uh, the task was to list important topics for the participants for to write or translate articles from English to Malay related to health and to recognize the competition and also trying to make sure that this um, competition is well known and being publicized by to the whole Malaysia. So Wikimedia Malaysia provide the training or guidance for the participants and also to recruit individuals to take part of it. So yeah, uh, because of this uh, project, uh, you can see this article from the WHO website, the official WHO website, so invention uh, project by Wikimedia Community Users Group Malaysia and also WHO Malaysia. So because of that, we managed to get recognition and support from them. So yeah, basically like any other competition, there's these requirements and need to be have good references, good language, uh, no grammar mistake, errors and others. So yeah, this was the uh, winner for the competition. So the number one, number two, number three, is based on the um, scores that they attain from the competition. So actually, uh, we also asked the WHO of Malaysia to try to help to assess the articles. So after we done assessing the articles, then we uh, give the um, shortlist articles to the WHO so that they will be they will know what have been done in the event because most of the uh, task was given by us but then uh, we would like to have like some um, courtesy to them so that they will know much about what the content they ha have written okay yeah so uh, i give to Wafik. Right. Hello, my name is Wafi Akil and I am part of the Wikimedia Community Group Malaysia and also uh, 
serve as the coordinators of this wiki project perubatan or also known as the wiki project medicine. So, uh, the competitions of this wiki sehat, it serves as an incubator for the expansions of the health-related uh, contents in the Malay language and it fosters the cultivations of the volunteerism spirit. So, this wiki sehat uh, act as the a platform for the expansions of this heavily knowledge in the wiki project probatan so uh, just an overview about this wiki project probatan it is actually it's a place where all the people who has uh, has a uh, same interest same uh, enthusiasms in the health related knowledge so they uh, they gathers together in the wiki project and they uh, they improve the articles they culti they curate the articles which has not been uh, assisted and etc so uh, in this uh, endeavor therefore presence and auspicious events for the participant to showcase uh, their liter literary aptitude and the uh, indignity so so this is uh, one of the proceeds event that has been done uh, after the wiki sehat i mean after the uh, completions of the wiki sehat so we're thinking of doing another uh, events which is uh, for the health uh, to improve the health uh, related articles so this is a work brain days which was done on uh, last month 22 july which is in the bangladesh so we invited we collaborate with the uh, Bangladesh uh, student, which is the Malaysian who studied in the Bangladesh. And this is like some statistic that had been uh, achieved on the World, Health World Brain Day. So there is a total of 22 articles, newly articles created, as well as 170 total edits. And there is a total of 36 uh, participants who volunteer in the uh, online and offline. So why do we need this uh, collection, this gathering, this um, this a collective of people to expand the knowledge? Because imagine a puzzle where each piece of that holds a, a fragments of knowledge about health and awareness. So alone, this piece of the pieces it might uh, provide only a partial picture if only one so now envisions if this piece together they coming together forming a complex of the mosaics that paints uh, a comprehensive knowledge a comprehensive understanding of well-being this is the power of collective knowledge that we can say had harnesses to create a remarkable sources of health enthusiasts seekers and learners alike so at the heart of the wiki say had, Brilliance. It is the idea that no single person poses all the answers to the complex tapestry of the health-related topics, and it is the an acknowledgement to the complex tapestry. Uh, it is to an acknowledgement to the expertise, uh, which comes in various forms, from the researcher to individuals passionate about wellness. So uh, each perspective contributes. Uh, a unique hue to the canvas and reaching the collective understanding so just as symphony as a beautiful uh, with diverse instrument we can see how thrive with diverse voices come together so when the contributors are uh, pull their insights they with a narrative of wisdom they share a narrative wisdom together cater to a wide spectrum of questions needs and concerns that individual might have uh, regarding the uh, health topics so, so this knowledge, uh, collective knowledge, is it becomes a bridge between the different culture, language, and walks of life. As the contributors from uh, around the world come together, the have information is tailored to resonate with the people's uh, life experience. So, uh, this is the articles about one of the feature articles in the Wiki Project Perubatan, the Wiki Project Medicine. It is the Ryan White which is a poster boy who, will, who was stigmatized for having AIDS. Like he was being, uh, being kicked out of the community because having enough AIDS, because on that time there was little information about AIDS. So everyone was so afraid of this disease and it was, a, it was they were all thought that this disease will be infected to all people. So that's why, that's why we need the needs of this having uh, accurate and uh, reliable information are uh, related to health. 
So why why they say because this is to counter the stigma because reliable have information it can stigmatizing the belief and the attitude surrounding the have certain have condition so it promotes the empathy understanding and the uh, acceptance within the society uh, so we want to have uh, the improvements of the health literacy because uh, when we have this health literacy there will be ability to understand and the use of health information which is essential for the navigating the healthcare system and making a healthy choices. So accurate information, of it promotes the health uh, literacy, ensuring that individuals can uh, comprehend and apply the uh, knowledge that they receive. As, as well as enhancing uh, health literacy, we want to prevent the misunderstanding as the uh, articles of the uh, Ryan White. So this misinformation can lead to a confusion can lead to misunderstanding and the misguided actions. The accurate health information, it acts as a shield which uh, against these confusions and ensuring that the individuals have a clear understanding of their health concerns and the steps they can uh, take to address them. And as in the era of the digital, in the today's digital landscape, the information is very abundant but not always accurate. So sharing a reliable health information, it is like a beacon in the sea of content, uh, guiding the individuals towards the trustworthy uh, sources amid the noise. And also the, to, to make the patients know about the informed choices, the better choices for their uh, health conditions. So in the bright features of the Malay language Wikipedia, we envision a world where health related knowledge uh, shines with the unparalleled uh, reality, quality and accessibility. So with each uh, passing days, dedicated contributors and passionate experts come together to elevate the uh, the depth, the accuracies of the medical articles to ensure the, that every reader gains a clear understanding of the medical articles and ensure that uh, when we unit in our share goal that we anticipated uh, a continuous expansion of the content that uh, embrace the diverse health topics and foster a community that learns to empower individuals to make informed decisions about their well-being. So together, we eliminate the path towards a more inclusive, informative, and accessible source of medical knowledge for all. So that's where we want the health-related knowledge, which is free for everyone. So that's all from us. Thank you. Uh, thanks for a great sharing. I'm uh, Jack Cho from uh, Nanyang Technological University. Uh, this uh, free knowledge for, for example, a rural community is uh, really uh, important and has been tackled. I just want to ask whether there are, you know, on the ground, you know, data. Can you, com you know, uh, theoretically, okay, you can compare one rural community in Malaysia that has a lot of, you look at the IP address, right? They access the, this free knowledge a lot but another community does not have, and then there are actually certain disease, okay, uh, are being prevented, the, the rates are much lower. So I just want to see whether, uh, want to ask whether uh, you guys have this kind of data to actually demonstrate it's not only free, but also effectively used by the rural people. Thanks. Uh, okay, so since you know some rural areas doesn't really have that uh, connection or even have any data to connect the internet or even to have a call. So um, Wikimedia Malaysia haven't done much yet, but we will, we have uh, envision or plan to trying to provide uh, Wikipedia into this village, but uh, offline, which means that um, in Wikipedia, there's this project called Internet in a Box or Kiwix. So basically, um, in this like modem or hotspot, uh, you can access to Wikipedia without having any Wi-Fi or data or any line. So basically, uh, maybe in the future or next year, we will try to bring this uh, Internet in a Box and give it to, for example, uh, health clinics in the villages so that they will have access to it. So that's our plan for in the future. Thank you.